Ciao is a way to say hello and goodbye in Italian. But where does this word come from that's now been adopted into so many other languages around the world? Well, like many great words, it has its origins in Latin and Greek, but not maybe in the way you might think. I'm Luke, and this is Polymathy. Servus is the Latin word for slave or servant. And this word, servus, is used in many countries that were a part of or had close contact with the Austro-Hungarian Empire. And in these countries, it's pronounced servus or serbus or other variations that you see here on the screen. And this word, meaning servant, is used to mean goodbye and even sometimes hello in these languages. Well, why? Um, and the reason is that it comes from a medieval Latin expression, which is servus humilimus domine spectabilis, or servus humilimus um o domine spectabilis, which means I am your most humble servant, O admirable Lord. And that's why this has become a greeting, which is still used in some of these countries today. In some places, it's now just associated with the archaic language and isn't in current use. During the Middle Ages, Slavic peoples were often taken prisoner. And that's the reason why our word in English slave and many other languages is in fact derived from the word for a Slav. But where does this word Slav come from? The word Slav appears to come from a word which actually in many Slavic languages means word. Here we see all the descendants of the Proto-Slavic word Slovo, including the Russian Slova. Slava in Russian means glory. So this word seems to have some kind of origin about word, the word about a person, their fame, their name. And the word that means word in Slavic is cognate with Greek kleos, meaning glory, and the Latin word gluio, meaning I have fame or I have renown. In Byzantine Greek, the word for Slav comes in as sklavos. And this word sklavos gets adopted by Western European languages, such as medieval Latin, sklavus. And this word sklavus is adopted into the other Western European languages. In Italian, it's schiavo. So as the medieval Latin word, sclavus, having come from the Greek sclavos, tends to replace the traditional Latin word servus as the meaning of slave or servant in many Western European languages. In Italian, it comes to be schiavo. We have the medieval Latin sclavus, and very frequently, an L after a C in many words that Italian has, this becomes chia, goes from cla to chia. For example, Latin clarus becomes Italian chiaro. So, clarus to chiaro, sclavus to schiavo. Schiavo being the Italian word for slave. Well, this word then gets to replace that old expression from the medieval Latin that we saw earlier. Servus humilimus domine spectabilis, your most humble servant, my admirable lord. And so, this word servus, instead we get schiavo being used. And in particular, we see it used in the Republic of Venice, a very powerful empire for many centuries, from the Middle Ages all the way through the Renaissance. And so this word schiavo gets used in that same way to mean, oh, I'm your, I'm your servant, um, as a way to, to either say hello or goodbye in the Venetian language. Italy, you might know, it has many dialects. Really, almost all of these are evolved independently from Latin. And although some of them are very close and mutually intelligible, they're all essentially varieties of the Latin language that has uh, that have all descended from the same origin. So I'll just call it Venetian language for now for the sake of simplicity. The Venetian language has this greeting which is used uh, very frequently which is uh, schiavo. And schiavo it undergoes two other changes. Uh, one of them is that the initial gia sound, well that goes through a palatalization process and many palatized sounds in Italian end up becoming post-alveolar affricates. For example, the word gena in Latin goes through a stage where it's palatalized, where it's gena, kind of like modern Greek will do with that similar sound. And it goes from gena into being cena in modern Italian. Similarly, the word schiavo used in the Venetian language became schiavo, schiavo. 
And something else happens where that, that V sound, V and W have an interchangeable property. So it must have sounded at some point something like not merely schavo, but schavo, schavo, or that V just ended up falling out. Compare, for example, the English contraction, older contraction of the word even as een, which we see, for example, in Shakespeare and other older forms of literary English, which used to be a normal way to simply say that word, even as een, but now is no longer normal. So we have a schau word used in Venetian Italian. And that little s gets lost somewhere along the way, and then it's just ciao. So ciao ultimately comes from a word meaning servant. I am your servant. I'm your humble servant as a nice, different way to speak respectfully to someone. Coming from the Byzantine Greek word sklavos, referring to Slavic peoples, which is still retained in, at least in uh, two countries named Slovenia and Slovakia, right? And in Slavic languages, the word slava, for example, in Russian means fame or glory, which is cognate with, kloe, with kleos in, uh, in Greek and uh, kleos, like in the name Cleopatra, the glory of the father is what that name means. And also in Latin, kluio, kluet, um, he has renown, she has fame. And uh, ultimately, in those Slavic languages, means word. So this is a people who speak a common word or language. The word for language and word in Japanese, for example, is the same. It's just kotoba means word or words. And that is how we get the word jiao. I hope you found this interesting. Uh, if you would like to see some educational stuff I have, that's on my audiobook store. And uh, also, if you like, you can support this channel on Patreon. Thanks so much for watching and listening. And jiao. Ciao a tutti.